What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my bathroom. I have no idea what the heck I have vlogged. I haven't edited a vlog at this point. You've probably seen a few vlogs before this one. I haven't edited a vlog um, since before Greece. So that's my mission for this weekend. I don't know if it's going to happen today because today is a busy day. Extremely jet lagged yesterday. I woke up at 4 a.m. This morning, I also woke up at 4 a.m. And I was like, absolutely not. We were going back to bed. So I put on The Big Bang Theory, which is my favorite show in the world. And I just like kind of fell asleep. I got out of bed. I woke up at like 6.30. And then my boyfriend FaceTimed me. His name is Etan. I don't want to keep referring to him as my boyfriend because I hate when people do that in real life. Like, you know when you go for dinner with someone and you fully know their boyfriend's name and they continue to refer to their boyfriend as their boyfriend it's like just say his name and I know if I just say Etan you guys are not gonna really know who that is but I don't want to continue saying my boyfriend does that bother you too like obviously if you just meet someone you're not gonna say oh Jack because who's Jack like I need is that your boyfriend is that your brother who's it but like after we establish that your boyfriend's name is Jack you just refer to him as Jack. You don't have to continue calling him, oh, my boyfriend, my boyfriend. So from now on, we're just going to go with Etan. Anyways, Etan called me yesterday. He's in. He was in Italy. He's going to Croatia today with his family. And so he called me at 9.30 a.m. And I swear I thought it was 2 p.m. I did work. I rearranged my living room, which I actually showed you. I'm going to show you guys my living room update. I'm obsessed with my living room. I was actually just thinking about how I don't really love the living room. I don't know what it is about it. I needed to change it up. I got a new coffee table and I redid my living room. I'm gonna show you guys. I went to Winners, picked up some stuff. I'm obsessed with my living room. It's like literally the living room of my dreams. Went to the office, worked on our new ring collection. By the way, I'm not engaged, but I do just like wearing our jewelry. But I wanted to quickly do some skin, test out some new skincare, not sponsored or anything. They did send it to me, um, but it's not sponsored. It's from the brand Coco Kind. My skin has been the best it's ever been. I 100% I attribute that to the sun. 100%. Whenever I'm on vacation, whenever I'm in the sun, my skin, there's no, I don't break out. My skin is clear. It looks good. The SPF I used was the Elta MD, oh, SPF 46. But on occasion, if I wanted to feel a little bit more put together, I wore the Color Science SPF 50 like tinted moisturizer. This is the oil to milk cleanser. My cleanser that I've been using was the um, soy face cleanser from Fresh. And maybe that also contributed to why my skin was so nice and smooth. So this is what it looks like. It looks like Vaseline. Ooh, it feels like Vaseline. I have never felt a cleanser like that in my life. Am I supposed to put water on my face? I think I'm doing, oh, okay, yeah. It gets like milky, you see that? I'm not even gonna lie, that threw me for a loop. It's literally the texture of Vaseline, but my skin, wow, that feels nice and moisturized. Watch me break out like crazy. Um, what else, okay, so this is a mask, Pantheol and Niacinamide Rich, okay, we're not gonna do a mask. This is intriguing though, a turmeric illuminating solution. Who doesn't want that? Lightly shake, pour four to five drops in your hand, press palms together and apply to face. Three to five times a week. The Ceramide Barrier Serum. It smells like nothing really. Let's test this SPF, the Facial Sunscreen Fluid SPF 30 UVA UV, UVB with Banana Blossom for hydration. I used to never wear sunscreen. Can you believe that under my face? I truly think sunscreen is the key to keeping you, your skin looking young. That may be way too much. It's like a milky, creamy texture. Ooh. No sun is penetrating my skin today. Oh, but it's throwing moisturizer. Okay, note to self, that is a little bit too much sunscreen, but I like how it makes my skin look. Ooh, you know what? I actually really look... Okay, I look crazy it leaves like almost a blurring glowy filter 
on your skin. I haven't talked about my house a lot recently, honestly, because not much has happened in the house. I haven't gotten anything new. I haven't renovated anything. I've kind of just been uninspired, I have to say. And I also had to chill. Like I bought a lot of furniture. I needed to relax. But the projects I'm working on now is finishing up my living room. I'm gonna tell you my plans and my bedroom. My bedroom, I need to, I'm not completely changing, but there's a lot of things I wanna do to my bedroom. My bed was supposed to be delivered yesterday, but they forgot it. <laughs> there was a miscommunication between the company Sundays and the delivery service, so it's coming on Saturday, which isn't the end of the world because my mattress is only coming on Monday. So doesn't really make a difference to me, except I did move my bed out of my room into my spare room. So that's where I'll be sleeping until my bed comes. My plans for my bedroom here are to panel the whole room, but I want to panel um, I think it's gonna really transform the room. And then I'm keeping the side tables because I like them still and they were really expensive and so I'm keeping them. I still like my lamps, so I'm keeping my lamps. I still like this little seating area. On this side of the room, there's nothing really. I'm gonna panel it, but I'm gonna put my fireplace for my living room up here and paint it the same color as my wall. Look at my cute outfit. <laughs> Once I get my bed, I'm gonna map out the paneling and I'm gonna try to start the paneling in the beginning of August and I'm going to do it myself. There's a piece of wood on the floor that looks like a dead bird. This is the living room update. It's not finished because I still, this bench is temporary. I'm looking for, oh sorry, that's my um, washing machine. I'm looking for a little either love seat or something to put here. It's only there for for now. I also ordered a kind of like little table thing that I might put under the window and move the chairs back to the other side. But for now, this is how it looks and I'm super happy with how it looks. So this little bench thing was at the end of my bed. I moved it down here. It is from Zara Home. I don't know, I find the bench just looks really random when there's not things on it, but it's a little bit narrow. Anyways, this is the new coffee table, which literally transformed the space. It is from Sundays. I wanted one from RH, and they're just so incredibly expensive. So this one is from Sundays. I wanted a black coffee table, even though you see all of the dust on it. I wanted this like little pedestal kind of coffee table and I like that it looks rustic like there's some dents in it I love when it's kind of like a reclaimed wood these chairs are from Sarah home wasn't a fan of them until I got this coffee table because the black legs match the black coffee table my sofa is from article it is the best sofa Ever, except I really need to scotch guard it. I need to have someone come scotch guard it. It's kind of easy to clean, but I just don't want it to get ruined. And because it's in my everyday living area, it's probably gonna get ruined. All these little things on my coffee table are temporary. I just kind of use things I had around my house, but I really like this little setup. I just don't really like these. I just found them, so I'm gonna try to find, maybe I'll go to Michael's and see what I could find. The Architectural Digest book, love it. This little tray is from H&M Home, and then this, I had a different picture frame, but I like this one better. I need to put a picture in it. This olive tree is from Maison Verano in Montreal, or I think it's in Laval, actually. The pot is from Winners. So Leo's house that everyone always asks about, it's actually at my mom's house because he was staying with her while I was away. And so when that comes back, it'll go right there. This is the fireplace I have right now. It is from Wayfair. The plan for this wall here is I'm getting a mantle built with a fireplace. I already got the fireplace. Then I'm getting two cabinets on either side and floating wood shelves. The man is coming to kind of give me a quote on July 30th, so I will keep you updated on that. Definitely want to get some new throw pillows. I want to incorporate some color, so maybe like more of like a rustic color, but I'm so picky. These are actually just from Walmart. I've had them forever. And then I got this little side table from Winners, and it just has my remotes and stuff in it with some books on top. And 
This light is from Wayfair. What I've learned is that you don't wanna rush and just buy things for the sake of buying things because you end up regretting them. Like I bought these side tables once and they, I really wanted the ones I have now and I tried to save a few bucks and I ended up hating them and I ended up still buying these ones. Sometimes you can buy dupes and you love them just as much. What I learned for me personally is like, I'm not gonna buy things just to fill the space. I'm gonna wait until I buy something that I absolutely love. Doesn't have to be expensive, doesn't have to be from RH, but even if you buy something that's cheap that you don't love, it's still a waste of money. I'm not doing my backyard until next summer. It just didn't make sense for me. And also doing a backyard is so expensive. But I would always tell my mom that I hated looking out my window and just seeing this like empty pit of dirt. <laughs> and so when I was in Greece, she did this little thing for me and I literally started crying when I saw it. She built this little path. Let me go outside. And then look, she built... Ooh, there's a spider nest. She built this little pathway. And then she built like a little fire pit. And put some chairs just so I can sit out there. And some flowers. I still have this big thing of dirt. But she did this whole thing for me. I'm so grateful it's so much nicer looking out the window and seeing that than looking out the window and seeing just like nothing at all and my mom has arthritis like really 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 bad arthritis and so the fact that she did that for me even being like having really bad arthritis is really really sweet i moved the bench behind the couch and i definitely do like it here like this will probably be its home however now it just looks extra empty here. Hello. This could also be an option. I like it in that corner, not so much here. I feel like it is a little bit random. What do you guys think? Which way do you like better? Hey guys, I'm running out the door because I'm going to meet a friend for dinner and I just wanted to show you guys my outfit. It's a super simple outfit. This top is from Aritzia. These jeans are a Goldie. My shoes are Lane Telefal and I just have a little Chanel bag which I actually haven't used in a really long time. But before I forget, my perfume which actually matches my outfit is from Balmain. It's the Just Bloom perfume. Look how beautiful it is. It smells like it's a floral scent but mm, my god it smells like a sexy floral scent it's not too overpowering it smells like gardenia and lilies of the valley oh it smells divine so i actually discovered this scent through scentbird and scentbird is so kindly sponsoring this portion of today's video if you guys don't know which you probably do scentbird is a fragrance subscription company where each month for just 17 dollars you get to test out designer fragrances that otherwise would cost you 100 200 sometimes 300 dollars if you're anything like me i love switching up perfumes but i'm also incredibly picky with the perfumes and the fragrances that i wear so i love that with scentbird you can test out the fragrances you get beforehand so i tested out the just bloom and it was to die for it's what i've been wearing all summer long so i went ahead and got the full size bottle this is what i would imagine just like a really you know like stunning beautiful simple yet chic woman would wear the samples that you get with Sempered are not like something you get at a department store where you're just getting a little sample it's a 30 day sample but honestly it lasts me even longer than 30 days for me fragrances trigger memories whenever i smell something i immediately think about that time in my life when i wore it so that's why i'm always getting new fragrances for different times of the year different periods of my life so i'm constantly just wanting to get and test out new fragrances and if you have like a special event coming up and you want to test out fragrances before that um or if you want to have a special perfume for that event in your life Semper is a great way to do that another thing i love about it is that you can actually pick the perfumes that you're getting so there's no surprises also these are great for travel or if you just want to stick it in a bag and bring it around with you. I do have a coupon code for you guys if you wanted to test out Valmont um, with Scentbird. I highly recommend this one. It smells divine and luxurious and it's just been my go-to fragrance this summer. You can use my code. I'll put it right here on the screen to get 55% off your first month of Scentbird. All right, I'm gonna go for dinner. 
I don't know about this top though because my nipple stickers keep showing. You guys should see what you're resting on right now. I just got back from Winners. I went to the office because our production samples arrived. I got a notification that they were delivered. A little sneak. We have a little sneak peek there. That's all I'm going to show you guys. But um, they're beautiful and they're amazing and I can't wait for you guys to see it. But my office is right near Winners. I have to go pick up new bed sheets. I want Brooklyn in bed sheets. But this is... This whole bed is very last minute. Like, I didn't even have a mattress when my bed arrived. I had to go buy a mattress and then I didn't have sheets. So I went to go buy sheets, which I did end up getting. I got these linen sheets. But don't you worry, my Brooklyn and sheets are coming. But I really lucked out. They had really good things. My favorite time to go to Winners is like Monday or Tuesday evening. I feel like that's when they get all the new stuff. But look at this, okay? I found this pot. It's exactly what I wanted, like a rustic looking clay pot. It was 29 bucks, which is amazing for a pot this size and this style. And you guys know, oversized big branches are really in right now. So they had these ones. I wish they would have had two little bundles. They only had one, so maybe I'll check another winners, but I just thought it looked really cute. I think I'm going to put this on my kitchen island, but it might be too big through there. I'll find a home for it. Um, and then I got a few random little things. I got a little paper towel holder. If you've been watching my home series for a while, I got a wood, another wood paper towel holder. And there was no way of putting the paper towel on the holder, so I had to break it apart. Anyways, it's a disaster. So I got a, a new one. I don't know why there's a dragonfly on it but the paper towel will cover that. And then I got the cutest cup. So I'm trying to integrate a little more color into my house. And I thought that these would be really cute just for like on my little shelf, not in my cabinets because in my cabinets, I've made it a point to have all matching plates, cutlery. It just makes me very, very happy. It's very aesthetically pleasing. Always had like random mix matched mugs and plates and forks and knives and having all of the same ones was like a dream. I was like, when I buy a house, that is the one thing I want in my house. And so these are gonna go on my little shelf in my kitchen to add some color. It has like really pretty blue, some terracotta, some green. So I got three of those. Um, well, I got all they had. They were pretty pricey, 10 bucks for a cup, but they were very pretty. I felt so bad for the girl working at the cash because nothing I got had price tags on it. <laughs> so every three seconds, I was running around the store, she was calling people. And then I saw this thing on my way out, that little aisle to the cash at Winners or HomeSense always gets me. It's, you put olive oil in there and then you can spray it or any oil, avocado oil. Instead of buying that spray already, you just put your own oil and it turns it into a spray. And then I also picked up this little basket. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it. Maybe I'll put it Leo's toys in it. It just has black and brown, which is like the color palette for my house. And then this book, which was, I couldn't pass it up. It's like, do you see that? It's called Beauty and the East, New Chinese Architecture. I'm trying to, I have a lot of books, but I'm trying to develop my coffee table books. Oh, it's upside down. It's like a linen, do you see that? It's a linen, oh my God, this camera, I'm not gonna focus, like a linen material. And it's the most stunning book ever. The most stunning book ever. And then I also got stone and granite cleaner, which isn't the most exciting. And then a very exciting purchase that I got, okay? It is this table right here, which is like a concrete table. I'm, I was looking for a table to go on the other side of my couch because I got a little side table, I'll show you. And then I wanted, I didn't want a matching side table, but I wanted a table for the other side of my house. My my couch um and so this one looked a little bit worse for wear not gonna lie there was like it definitely needs a good clean because i think there's like something weird all over it and there's scratches on it but i know i can get this clean it was i think 30 bucks for this table and it's like a white concrete table so this i think i'm gonna put right next to 
my couch just so there's a little table the little table definitely needs a, a, a decoration on it i don't know it might go there i might put it somewhere else one thing i learned is that when you come across things for your house that you love snatch them up because it's hard to find things you genuinely love for your house like this side table i loved it i didn't know where i was going to put it i need to adjust my wires um but it's one of my favorite pieces. I'm gonna go put this all away, figure out where I want to put everything, and then I'll show you guys. I also got these dry roasted cashews with everything spice, and they are amazing. How does that look? As just like a little thing. I don't know. I'm constantly moving things around my house, so that'll probably be in like my bathroom or my bedroom. And then I ended up putting this vase with these leaves on this little front miniature bench thing um it has my like little alarm and then this is the book how beautiful how beautiful is that it's a lot of plants going on so i have to find something else to put on the middle of my table but for now we're just going to keep that and then i have this pot from zara home with some eucalyptus I think my favorite purchase though of the day was this little vase. Guess what finally arrived? I'm so excited that my bed is back. This one feels just as comfy as my bed from Wayfair, which I was obsessed with. I got it from Dormy Vu. It was reasonably price definitely not like a six thousand dollar mattress it was i think eleven hundred dollars so excited to have my bed back and be sleeping in my bedroom and be able and being able to use my gorgeous bed and my mattress cover i have my new duvet and i have sheets i ordered a duvet off amazon better believe i'm getting my brooklyn and weighted um, comforter and my brooklyn and sheets for this bed but i just needed something in a pinch like in the matter of a day and amazon obviously came through amazon is the best my king size duvet came in a box this big i don't know how they got this in here okay so it came like vacuum sealed I don't know what this is. Oh, a bag to put it in. Something smells like oranges in my house. How to enjoy it. After you open the bag, please shake your comforter or pillow well and allow it to air for some time. The slight smell of the new product will disappear. At the same time, the comforter or pillow will fluff up and recover its full shape. I read on the Amazon reviews that you should stick it in the dryer. Oh yeah. It's expanding. You should stick it in the dryer for like 20 minutes. It feels very soft though and fluffy already. Okay, so this is the bed. I still don't have a duvet cover. I went to go buy one and it turns out finding just a simple duvet cover alone is more difficult than you think. So I've slept on this bed a few days. It is the most comfortable bed. I'm still playing with pillow placement and everything. I want to, I need to get another king size pillow. But wow, I'm just obsessed. It literally feels and looks like I'm sleeping on a cloud. I think I've decided on the art for above my bed. I'm like 90% sure that's the art I want. So once I order it and it comes in, I'll show you. Still 100% doing the paneling. Um, that will be starting in the beginning of August. But this is the bed. The duvet from Amazon is incredibly soft and comfy. It, it feels like a hotel duvet. Um, and then I just have all my standard pillows and stuff. Okay, so I'm just getting ready to do my nails for the week. I finished editing up my vlog and I have to do my nails. I do my nails once every two weeks. Um, I've been doing French, but I thought that we could try recreating Hailey Bieber's viral nails um, that are everywhere and everyone's doing. I'm gonna use the stuff that I have here. I feel like I can do something similar. I don't have the exact stuff that she does, but I tested out some like formulas out with my sister. All of my polishes are from Gel Care, and I remember I got this one called South Sea Pearl. It's just a pearl color. I don't know if you guys can see. It has a little bit more of a pink tone in it than I think she uses, but that's fine i haven't done really an updated nail video in quite some time because nothing has really changed except 
for the fact that I used this. This my sister actually got at the pharmacy. You have to file off the top coat. This is what it looks like. You file off the top coat and then you put it on and it literally just melts your gel off. It's the coolest thing. Here's the game plan. I don't know what the base coat is. What does what she use as the so base? She mixes a really nude, not opaque color with a bit of clear. Okay. So I think you do like a nude BB cream with clear. But nude BB cream is more pink. I have. I think I should mix archive beige with clear. But that's really dark. It's like really opaque. That I color. know, but I'll only do like a little dot. A little dot with a lot of clear. Yeah. But if you do a nude BB cream, a dot of that, and a lot of clear. Yeah. So I have this archive beige. Nikki's right. Her base is a lot more beige than nude BB cream. This is rose BB cream. Nude BB cream, despite the name, is pretty pink. Yeah, you're right. It looks like this. Ooh, it's goopy. I need a new one. It's my can, most used. You can also do that whitish color with a dot of that. Coconut milk? With a, a dot of that and a lot of clear. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to mix a dot uh, coconut milk, which is also almost done, with some archive beige and some, but top coat? Base coat base coat yeah she mixed it with base coat so the first step i need to do is file off these i do have tips on my nails i will also leave the video that i filmed on how i do tip um tips and i'm just gonna file off the top coat and then put this magical remover on top so then once you file it off you literally just go on and paint the remover on top and it will melt your shellac off someone commented i used to have this from amazon someone commented that this this is the same product they put on like cars and that it, i shouldn't put it on my nails but it just works so well and i don't want to sit here and file off this polish you should see tony doing her removal her filing off removal for an hour i know normally i just file off all of the gel and then it literally i don't know if you guys can see it just scrapes off So I'm going to go scrape this all off and then we'll see about the concoction for the Hailey Bieber nails. I'm really running low on this one. I have to make sure I have enough for all 10 fingers. And then we are going to mix a little archive beige to make it nice and nude. Then we're going to mix a little base coat. Oh, you're going to have more than enough. It's only one coat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a huge blob. You have the huge blob. You have the huge blob. <laughs> or what? What do you think? I think it needs a little bit more base uh, clear. This is what it looks like. It's pretty sheer, especially if we're only doing one coat. And then I'm gonna do a base coat. This base coat is one of my favorites it's just from a little kit i got from amazon from mccart i believe it came in my poly gel kit it really sticks onto your nail so now i'm going to go in and apply a coat of this concoction we made Okay, and now we're gonna go in with South Sea Pearl. It's not as metallic as hers. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is how the nails turned out. I'm actually very, very happy. And I like them a lot more than I thought. They're not, I don't think, as like metallic or pearly as Haley's nails, but it's kind of the same, right? And I feel like this is more my style of more subdued it's hard to see oh there you go you can see very happy very happy with how it turned out now i'm just going to get back to editing i think i'm going to make a little snack for nikki and i how's your spray tan coming along it's so good i love it <laughs> but i think i'm going to end the vlog here i just want to remind you to check out scentbird down below you can use the code tony for 55 percent off your first month which is great so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week and i will see you guys back here next time